Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. You know, I've been trying to be very miserly in the kitchen to economize and so forth. We spread this way, and when I do peas, like in spring like this, then I try to use the pad occasionally to do a soup with it. You can see the inside of the pad here, and if you break it, there is a kind of flesh here, and it's quite sweet, actually. And uh, so we use that in a soup. Of course, you have to strain it. I strain it with a, a food mill because there is a lot of fiber in it. I have four cup water here, and it can be water, chicken stock or water. And I put about two teaspoons of chicken, uh, chicken bouillon, or chicken base here. I have a pound of potato here, the potato, so about four cup, you know. And my pound of peas. This is one pound of peas, and that pound of peas usually will give me about half of it will be the peas, about seven, eight ounces, and the rest will be the pot, same size, about the same amount. And uh, I'll put maybe some uh, onion in there. Yeah, something of onion. Uh, Maybe three quarter of a cup to a cup of onion. Okay. The salt, it depends on the. Still need a little bit of salt, but it depends on your stock. We bring that to a very strong boil. I cover it and I cook it 30 minutes. Then we'll go on to strain it, to finish it up. Okay. Now it comes to a strong boil. I'm going to cover it, lower the heat, and 30 minutes. As you can see, the pads are really green here. After 30 minutes, they'll turn a slightly darker color. My pea soup is cooked. As, as you can see now, the, the, the pods have changed color. And of course, they are very fibrous. So this, what I want to do first, I usually I put that directly in the food processor. Like this, you know, at least the pad. I think I have all of it here. Maybe a little bit of the liquid. I'll put that through the food mill here. Or if you don't have a food mill through a strainer, it's a little bit more work. See that the food mill, uh, this way you have your leg here that you do. Make sure that you put that the right way. I mean to people who put it this way. No, it goes this way. And I used to use that certainly a great deal before the advance of the food processor. You know, we, <laughs> we use that all the time. Half of it, maybe. Come back up the other way a few times this way. Well, as you can see here, a lot of fiber. So clean up the bottom of the pan. Clean up of this. Okay, so I remove most of the fiber in there, and the rest of it. Rinse it with a little bit of the stock here. And I put that. Now, I can really just put it in there. delicious taste of peas. Remember, I have no oil, I have no butter, I have nothing in it, so I'm gonna finish it with about a third of a cup of cream. And as you can see here, I have a close to one and a half quart of soup, and even with a 
prefer even half a cup of cream. It's less than one tablespoon per person. So enough soup. Yeah. I would say for six at least here. Yeah. Nice portion of soup like that. The peas taste wonderful. Maybe a little bit of shire for color on top. And this is it. My peapot soup. Happy cooking.